Well, so much for Tahiti. As you just saw with the uh, very, very funny intro gag, we are going to be fixing the Oceanian borders today. Alright, so, in effect, this is, this is it. This is what we got to deal with. This is what we got to work with. Come on out swinging with New Guinea. I think they should unite their island, but... Bougainville will gain independence. We shall get rid of the border in New Guinea. Boom. They can also have these outlying things. I don't I don't I don't, I don't care, man. But in exchange for uniting their island, they're going to have to let go of Bougainville. If you don't know, Bougainville is an island that's trying to gain independence from Papua New Guinea right now. Um, and they said they would, but... Um, I'll come back to the rest of these islands later. Uh, let's get on to the good stuff here. We got Australia and New Zealand. So as you can see um, by this map, the British Empire had taken over all of Australia and um, there was no one else to uh, colonize Australia. But actually, this guy from the Dutch East India Company actually dis discovered Australia in 1606. So, based on that, and based on the fact that Australia is a pretty big landmass, but manages to have no other countries on it besides well, Australia, the land down under shall be subjected to the scramble for Australia! <clears throat> Alright, you guys can kind of see where the majority of the population in Australia lives. Right along this area, and right down by Perth up here. A little bit up here. So I'm going to use that to base my new borders on, because obviously this is a very habitable region. Shopping on the north coast. And make a bit of a, you know, up here Australian Empire. I think the Northern Territory is fine as is. I think we should make a massive, like, desert empire way over here. Now that we have a divided Australia, I just have to name all these places, which is going to take freaking forever. But I'll do it. Ready? Let's do this. kinda like it. As much as these states would absolutely burn and die in the real world, I kinda like it. Now here's where we get to the devious part. You remember back from pretty much every video, the Dutch. They know land reclamation. And, if we give that land reclamation ideal to the Oceanians, Oceanians? Oceanians. Oceania. 
Oceania. Oceania. Oceania. Yeah, New Zealand has a bit of a, let's just say, a thing they can do. Look at that. That's huge. And they can just take all this from the sea if they want. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is some mass colonial expansion from New Zealand right here. It's also helpful to note that <clears throat> New Caledonia is entirely surrounded in this, but they should get a little bit of of this as their own here. So New Zealand will become a massive empire. And we also have New Caledonia to our east. In fact, I kind of want to do this with all the sets of islands, you know what I'm saying? Let's just, um, we have the, I believe these are the Solomon Islands? Oh, I know stuff, I know stuff. So these, the Solomon Islands. Gonna get some massive expansion. Also, but Gainville can have some stuff. And Papua New Guinea can finally connect this island to its mainland here. Bit of damming off here. You'll be able to drive between all these Pacific Islands, bro. Now this down here, Vanuatu, yeah. And then the rest are on the west side. The, well, pretty much the entirety of, um, Oceania. There is some northern places here I have yet to do. But you know what? With them, I'm going to go the opposite direction and just wipe them from the map. Sorry to, um, Northern Mariana Islands, Guam, Palau, Micronesia, Marshall Islands, Nauru. Sorry, but, um, I, I, I can't do this anymore. So we're getting rid of you. I'm not sure if some of these are actual islands or just specs on my computer screen. Just keeping major stuff, like, uh, Tahiti. Now let's just name all of these. This might be the shortest one I've ever done. Oh, wait! What's this big boy down here? Now, I know you all are saying, But Antarctica isn't in Oceania! Well, ask yourself, were you seriously going to watch a uh, fixing the Antarctic borders? Antarctica, baby. Don't worry, there's more. Ripe for the messing with. Okay, before we get to Antarctica, there's a couple places I gotta talk about. First, we care much about the Heard and McDonald Islands, which are right here. And as a proud American myself, I think you know what I'm going to do. We are going to give the McDonald's Islands to the United States, and in return, we will build the first entire island-sized McDonald's on them, and it will become the new McDonald's HQ. 
This new McDonald's HQ will be able to handle about 20,000 passengers in it. Like that. As you can see, there is a bit of activity on Antarctica. There's a couple stations. So it's like in Antarctica and it's actually like fully... There's actual, like, roads here. Like, there's actual, like, people that live here. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's kind of cool. Actually. All this, like, peninsula of Antarctica can go to the Villa Australis. I don't know. But you know me. I can't just... I can't just leave it like that. How are people going to survive here? Oh, ho, 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 man, how I'm going to make people survive. China Coal, would you like to inhabit a portion of Antarctica? Since CO2 makes the planet warm up, Antarctica will warm up too. You didn't have to cut me off. Like You see, I am the great maker of things that work. Saudi Aramco. I believe they do oil or something. Welcome to Antarctica. Make as much CO2 as you can. Gazprom Oil. National Iranian Oil. Would you like a piece of the Antarctic pie? But ExxonMobil, can you really consider yourself mobile? If you don't have an Antarctic base. And down here. Get ready for this. You see Britain claims this area. Of Antarctica. Why Britain? They want it so bad. Why Britain? So I had to name a country. Why Britain? <laughs> now that's going to be it for the division of the continents on Earth. Oh, shoot. You didn't think of that, did you? The surface of the freaking moon. Britain can't get its freaking Antarctica, whatever it wants. So, in compensation, how about some nice moon? You can get stuff on the moon. If you really so desire. You know, the... The joke of the British colonizing the moon. Well, um, see also Lunar France. I'm pretty sure Lunar America does include where the American flag is placed. And if it doesn't, we, we can just always go and get it again. At some point, we can expand the colony. For now, they'll just be colonies as they send people to inhabit them. But perhaps a moon American revolution might happen. We now have our state for the indigenous aliens of the region as well. And finally, Chinese moon. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fixing series. I have now officially fixed all of the continents. So uh, if you want to watch them, a couple of them are going to be on screen right now. Or you can wait for the compilation to come out, which will also be where I'll show the entire world map at once for the first time. You're not going to want to miss it. Anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, check out the other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.